In this video, we will try to learn how to find point elasticity of demand from a given revenue function and marginal revenue. The question is like this. If total revenue from sales of good X is given by the equation that is R is equal to 100Q minus 2Q square where R is the total revenue and Q is the quantity. What is the point elasticity of demand when marginal revenue is given as 20? The options are 1, 1.5, 2, and 2.5 so we will see how to solve this question okay first we will see what is given we are given a revenue function so I can write in place of if R is equal to 100 Q minus 2 Q square this is our total revenue function okay and we know total revenue is equal to price into quantity so in place of R I will write P into Q okay since total revenue is equal to price into quantity in place of R I have written P into Q which should be equal to 100 Q minus 2 Q square okay now we will solve this very equation for P that means uh, P is equal to this Q will get transposed and it will become denominator here that is it will become 100 Q divided by q it is divided to every term here minus 2 q square divided by q and when solving this comes out to be this q and q gets cancelled we get here 100 minus here this q gets cancelled with uh, one uh, q here so we are left with additional q so this is our uh, inverse demand function okay and we know uh, what is uh, the formula for point elasticity of demand so I will write here okay point elasticity of demand is given by that is point elasticity of demand is given by that is dq upon dp times p by q okay this is the uh, point elasticity uh, demand formula now we got here price function okay after that what will we do uh, we will see what is our uh, marginal revenue we will find what is the marginal revenue okay since this is our total revenue function marginal revenue is simply the derivative of total revenue with respect to quantity so this is dr divided by dq so means we have to differentiate this revenue function with respect to quantity derivative of q is 1 so we are left with 100 minus derivative of q square is 2q this 2 becomes coefficient so 2 into 2 is 4 i will write here 4 q and this 2 is uh, the exponent is subtracted by 1 that is 2 minus 1 is 1 so we are left with q only okay that means our marginal revenue is equal to 100 minus 4q okay uh, up until uh, up until now i hope uh, you are getting me what i am saying so this is our marginal revenue function but we are being given the value of marginal revenue that is i can write but mr is given that is 20 okay i will write here it is given that means we will equate uh, this marginal revenue with this marginal revenue that means 100 minus 4q should be equal to 20 okay so i will write here 100 minus 4q is equal to 20 okay or we can just transpose uh, this 20 on lhs and this minus 4q on rhs so sign is get changed so we are left with 100 minus 20 is equal to 80 is equal to 4q or our q is equal to 80 divided by 4 which means our 4 ones are 420 is are so our equilibrium quantity is rather uh, the quantity is 20 okay now we have to find so we got this q now we have to find p so p is equal to we just put q is equal to 20 the value of q is equal to 20 in this inverse demand function to get the value of p that means p is equal to 100 minus 
2 times the value of q which we calculated is 20 so i will write here 20 so p is equal to 100 minus 40 which comes out to be 60 okay so we got p is equal to 60 okay and we got q is equal to 20 q is equal to 20 so uh, we got the both values here okay now we have to find dq divided, uh, divided by dp how do we find dq divided by dp we again uh, take this uh, inverse demand function and solve it for q that is we write this inverse demand function uh, in q so i will write here first p is equal to 100 minus 2q okay so we will uh, solve this for q first so this is simply we transpose uh, this 2q on lhs this becomes positive 2q and we have 100 and transposing this p here so this becomes negative 2p or q is equal to 100 upon 2 minus p divided by 2 or q is equal to 100 upon 2 is equal to 50 and 1 by 2 is minus 0 0.5p okay so we got the ordinal demand function or ordinary demand function here now to find dq upon dp we will differentiate this demand function with respect to price okay that means uh, dq upon dp is equal to we will differentiate this with respect to price so derivative of constant is 0 derivative of p is here 1 so we are left here with minus 0 0.5 i will write minus 0 0.5 which is the slope also okay now what we have to do we have to just plug the values in this equation or elasticity of demand or price elasticity or point elasticity of demand is equal to dq upon dp which we got here minus 0 0.5 okay times the value of p we got 60 divided by the value of q we got 20 this 0 0 gets cancelled 2 1s are 2 3s are so we got here 3 or ep is equal to minus 0 0.5 times 3 and this comes out to be 3 5s are 15 point we got something like this so elasticity of demand is minus 1.5 but we always take the absolute value that means uh, elastic point elasticity of demand is equal to 1.5 5 that is minus 1.5 is equal to 1.5 this is the prior point elasticity of demand and what does it tell us it simply tells us this uh, value or price elasticity of demand tells us uh, if price increases by 1% okay if there is 1% increase in price quantity demanded will decrease by 1.5 percent okay and similarly if price decreases by 1 percent okay quantity demanded will increase by 1.5 percent okay i guess the correct option should be this 1.5 i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you